Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for sodium chloride plus lead to acetate here. Note that sometimes this lead to acetate, you'll see the acetate ion here written a little bit different. These two things here, they're the same thing, just organized a little bit differently. So let's use the one up here in this video. First thing for net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. And this is the molecular equation. It looks like if we put a 2 in front of the NaCl, that'll balance the chloride ions. And then a 2 here, that balances the sodiums. And that 2, that'll balance these two acetate ions. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Next, we're going to write the state for each substance. And that'll look like this. So sodium compounds, very soluble, so we write aqueous. Acetate, when we have that acetate ion, we know that we're going to have a soluble compound. But here we have chlorides, which are often soluble, but lead to chloride. This is an exception. Lead compounds, got to be careful. This is actually a solid. So PBCl2, that's our precipitate. That's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as our precipitate. And then we have a sodium compound and the acetate. So that's very soluble as well. So once we have the states, we can split the electrolytes into their ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So note we split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions, but we did not split solids. So when we have a precipitate, when we have a solid, we don't split that apart into the ions. We leave that together. Also note that we have two as our coefficient, so we need to have a two here and a two on the chloride ions. And again, we have two here, so we have two acetate ions. One thing I noticed in my equation, I have the acetate ion written this way here, and then I have it written this way here. They're both the same compound. They're the acetate ion. Those are the two ways you can write it. You should write it the same both ways. Just a mistake on my part. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see in the reactants here, I have two sodium ions. In the products, I have two sodium ions. These are spectator ions. We can cross these out. And then even though I've written them differently, these are both acetate ions. And we have two of them in the reactants and the products. Spectator ions, we cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for the sodium chloride plus lead to acetate. Let me clean it up, add the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation. Note that we have Pb2+, plus, but then the two chloride ions, 2 times 1 minus is 2 minus. So these charges, they balance out. Net charge is 0. Over here, neutral compound, net charge is 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NaCl plus PbCH3COO2, sodium chloride plus lead to acetate. Thanks for watching.